hey loves and welcome back to my channel so we are going to learn the two methods that you can use and do a draping on your bra cup so this one is the one i did on the bra cup separately and this one is the one that i draped on the fabric after sewing so the other one i did it on the bra cup before joining but this one you will have to drape it on the clothes after you must have finished joining your bra cup and everything so this is the satin that we use for the draping and this is the bra cup the bra cup i'm holding right here is size 40. so what you are going to do is that you place the satin on the bra cup first of all you will turn the edge of the bra cup with the satin and then you will place it so you are going to cut out um your satin it will be it will be like 10 inches it will be like um 15 inches wide and 20 inches long okay let me measure it so if i measure i have 15 inches as the wideness and i have 20 inches as the, as the length so whatever you are doing make sure that you have at least 20 inches as the length or more than 20 inches so that it will be okay for you so i'll place the inner part of the bra cup on the front side of the satin like this then i'll go ahead and run a stitch on it i've run a stitch at the upper part of the bra cup then i'll turn it over you can see the way i turned it over place the inner part of the bra cup on the front side of the satin after sewing then you turn it over so after turning it over this is what you will get so after that you go ahead and start making your pleats this method is very very easy so if you make your pleats you hold it down with an office pin an affix pin so i'll go ahead and continue making my pleats until i have gotten the desired fullness or the desired pleats that i want if you want your pleats to be wider make make it wider or make them wider if you want the pleats to be close then make them close So I am done with the pleats. This is the last pleats that we make. So after making the pleats, I'll go ahead and give it a nice press. I'll iron the pleats very well so that they will relax. Then I'll come back and show you guys. I'll go ahead and place it on a cellulose ham and iron. So after ironing, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. so this is the pleats after ironing so after getting what you want uh, what you want you go ahead and run a stitch round you go and run a stitch round those pleats like you go to your sewing machine and sew round the bra cup so that it will hold down the pleats so i am done with the stitching i'll go ahead and trim out the excess fabric that i have around the cup so i am done trimming out and this is what it looks like so you go ahead and remove your pins and after removing your pins your bra cup is ready for the type of corset you want to use it for 
so as you can see it is very beautiful and neat please remember to iron before stitching it will help you to make some adjustments before stitching so this is it it is looking so fine so we'll move over to the second method the second method is the one that you will drape on the corset you have made already so this is the corset that i have made already i will go ahead and place my satin the satin should be 15 inches wide like i said before and at least 20 inches long so you will hem the edge if you want or you can just fold it the way i did here you can hem it or you can fold it the way i did here. then you place it on the cup so after placing it you will secure it with a pin After securing that side, you will go ahead and secure the other side. This one is a kind of easier for me, but if you are making this, you will need an applique. You will need a trimming. The trimming is what we use to cover up the rough parts. So after pinning it down, you will start making your pleats. So I am approaching the end of the pleats. You are free to manipulate this if you want. You can pleat it vertically if you want horizontal, but I prefer this one. So this is the end of the pleats. I'll go ahead and trim the excess fabric off. So if you are trimming, please mind your fabric so that you will not cut the fabric. So after trimming this is what it will look like so you go ahead and iron this so after ironing if you want you can, you will if you want you can sew on it but for me use your needle and thread and tack everything down use your needle and thread even the upper part use your needle and thread to tack it down then after tacking it down you iron it so so well so after the ironing you will place your trimmings on it this type of trimming is suitable so after placing your trimming you can use your candle gum to hold it down or you can use your needle and thread this one is very easy because you'll be free to sew your bra up the way you want the part that you sew will not be too thick so after um draping you will just do your normal hand stitching and then add your applique so that is it guys for this tutorial thank you so much for watching and for subscribing to my channel please do not forget to like this video so that more people can get to see it so this is the end of the video and at the end of the day 
this is what you will have so you are free to choose and you are free to make the one you like thank you so much see you in my next video bye